Well, Scott, congratulations. European football after Christmas for the first time in eight years. But how do you reflect on the overall result there after dominating for so long? Yeah, I think, uh, obviously, the second half wasn't good enough as a whole. I think uh, the first half was exactly what we wanted to do, put the pressure on and come out in the front foot. Um, Alfredo gets his goal. Uh, second half was a bit flat. I think we um, kind of gave the initiative to them, but given what's at stake, I think... Um, People will kind of regret it, but for us, um, as you say, the overall picture was to get European football after Christmas, and we've done that, that's what we set out to do, so we've got to be happy with that. Connor, how nerve wracking were those final few minutes after the equaliser went in? Yeah, very. Um, obviously, they had nothing to lose in the end, and they threw a lot of bodies forward, and we know they're a dangerous side, obviously, playing there at their place, and it looked like a repeat of the first time we played them, but no, we had to stay strong. They had a lot of big strikers, and you start getting deeper and deeper, and you obviously fear for the worst, but. We had to stay strong and luckily enough we managed to get the draw. Do, do, do thoughts from that first leg over, over in Bern come into your mind at a time like that, the way that game finished? No, you didn't really think of that game but you just thought they've got so many people up front here that just hopefully one doesn't drop and I thought overall we defended well, we limited the chances which again they're a good side, um, we learnt that both sides playing against them and um, but no, we're happy, we look forward to see you withdraw in the next round. Absolutely and Scott, a massively dominant first half performance as you touched on, how important was it to take the tempo to them early on? Massively important, I think um, we fancy ourselves against any team here, especially when you've got 50,000 here screaming, I think we need to kind of give the, give the fans something to shout about, I think we've done that throughout the whole um, European journey, um, it started all the way back in June or July time, so to have that again, I, th I don't know if any team's done it, to stay in this competition so long, so I think it speaks uh, volumes of the character we've got in this team, the, the belief, the, the talent we've got and um, you know we're not finished yet. You talk about belief Connor, um, what about Alfredo's finish there obviously we saw what happened on Sunday on BT Sport in the cup final but what about the way he finished that particularly when he had a bit of time to think about it? Yeah definitely and he's been doing it all season um, listen Sunday was a one-off you look at the games that Alfredo's won us this season mm -hmm. no one can have any complaints the goals he scores for us important goals and he's done it again tonight when we need him he seems to always score goals obviously Sunday was an exception but you have to let him off. He's, he's dug us out the hole many a times, especially in this competition. So, no, it's brilliant. He scored again, so happy days. And Scott, I mean, how much does this mean to the players to, to get through into the, the knockout phase after Christmas? Uh, and how far can this team go in Europe? Oh, we'll, we'll certainly, we'll certainly um, feel as if we're, we're, we're a match for anybody. Certainly at this... At Ibrox, we feel as if we can we can get after anybody, and we've got we've got talented boys in that changing room. Um, and to have this after it, I think it's it's, it's not about us as players. We've given something to the fans, and they deserve everything, uh, especially the last week they've been through. So that's for them, and uh, hopefully enjoy it. Congratulations, well done tonight, boys. Thank you. Thank you. Well done.